Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski and welcome to Trailers From Hell. When genres reach their expiration date, when the same tropes have been played so many times that the only way to get the audience's attention is to do something a little different, that's when things can get interesting. Right now we're going to take a look at a film from the tail end of the biker movie craze, when people were just getting bored of seeing hogs cruising down the highway, so here they move the action to Vietnam. Yes, it's the biker war film combo, 1970s The Losers. Here come the losers. Killers by instinct, mercenaries by profession. In general, the motorcycle genre has not aged well. It might be the ultimate, you had to be there. The films are certainly groovy at the time. This one holds up because it has a good plot. Apparently inspired by a news report that the Hells Angels had sent a message to President Lyndon Johnson, volunteering to use their bikes to become guerrilla fighters in Vietnam. LBJ turned them down. In the film, the bikers are sent to rescue a CIA operative being held captive in the Cambodian jungle. The, the leader of the gang is played by the amazing William Smith. He was the go-to guy for the biker genre, starring in Angels Die Hard, Chrome and Hot Leather, and Run Angel Run. That last picture was also directed by the helmer of the losers, Jack Sterrett. Sterrett was behind the camera for a number of interesting 70s action pictures, including Race with the Devil and Cleopatra Jones. He was also a very good actor. He plays the CIA guy here, but he's probably best known for his performance as Gabby Johnson in Mel Brooks' Blazing Saddles. God darn it, you heard correctly. This movie is directed by Gabby Johnson. I saw The Losers at a drive-in back in the day. I told all my friends how cool it was, but it never really gained too big of a cult until Quentin Tarantino used a clip in Pulp Fiction, but it's still pretty obscure. Sometimes on home video, under another title, Nam's Angels, which was its original moniker until it was changed when composer Stu Phillips submitted a dandy rock ballad for the film, entitled The Losers. That song and the movie are well worth finding and checking out.